All right, so today we have a spring Target haul. Feels so good. I have two fully full, fully full, very full Target bags. The last full on Target shopping trip I did was the fall video that I did last year. So it's been a while and it felt just as amazing as I remember. Even more since it's been so long since I've gone. So we got a little wild, I had a gift card too. I have a lot of clothes because a, I've been super excited about the spring colors. I've got purple nails on right now, purple eyeliner. I am full on ready for spring. But also I went through my closet the other day and got rid of a giant trash bag of clothes that I'm donating. So uh, there's room, you know? If you clean out your closet, you're basically obligated to go shopping again. So let's get into it. If you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I'll have my last Target haul linked down below if you wanna watch more. Okay, so I picked up two pairs of jean shorts. This first one is from the Universal Thread brand and these were only $18. I love the gold buttons on the front and then the pockets are just plain. I want really high-waisted shorts that actually fit me. They do look like they run big. I got a zero in these because I held them up and I was like, this looks like it's gonna fit but I'm usually never a zero, so just FYI size down in these. So here are the Universal Thread ones. Let me know if you guys like these ones or the next ones I'm gonna show you. And then here's the back on these ones. They are a little bit like baggier down at the bottom. <laughs> Literally look at the difference in color right now between my legs and my arms. And then the other pair I got are from Levi's and I actually tried these ones on right when I got home because I was so excited about these. These are their high rise slim through hip shorts. They have the Levi's pockets on the back. They're super stretchy too, so they're just really comfortable. And in these ones, I'm a 28, so <laughs> totally not normally a zero. All right, so here are the high-waisted Levi's. They're super stretchy and comfy. I like how they fit around my legs. I'm not sure how, uh, I'm just not used to wearing like fully high-waisted shorts, but I love the pockets. I think I like these. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below. By the way, in the try-on clips you're seeing, I'm testing out different self-tanners on my legs right now, so just a heads up. That's why the rest of my body is white and my legs are tan. I went pretty wild on the spring colors for me. This is a lot of color happening. Normally I wear black, white, and gray, but when I was going through my closet, I just want, I want a little bit of color right now. I'm just in the mood. We'll see how much I actually wear this stuff, but I really love this lilac color right now. It's probably like my favorite spring color. This one was only $10. I got a size extra small and it's super soft. This is from the A New Day brand, which I really like at Target. Most of their t-shirts are really nice and stretchy and super soft and it's like a nice, cropped-ish length where it's short, but it's not a full crop. So if you're short, this will just fall like a normal kind of shirt. Really like the color if I was wearing these with shorts, we'll definitely tuck it in. But spring colors, especially with like self tanner on and then some gold jewelry, I'm excited. Also got this color. This is the, actually this isn't the same shirt. This one doesn't have a pocket, but same kind of idea. It's just like a flowy, loose short sleeve shirt with little cuffed sleeves. I actually have this one in white already. This one was only eight bucks. I got a size small in this one, but I really like this kind of powder blue color. And I only have one other shirt in this color that's like a long sleeve kind of sweatshirt thing. All right, I felt like the plant was a little up in my zone here. So we're not done with the clothes, but let's just switch it up. I got a couple accessories. This was $16.99 and it's the Sugar Fix Bobble Bar collection. They had so many cute gold pieces of jewelry. Obviously it's not Plated, it'll probably change colors and it's like, you know, cheap kind of costume jewelry. And this one will look really cute on its own or layered with like a slim kind of choker. And then I picked up these clips, which were actually on clearance for $5.60. They're normally eight bucks, but these are the universal thread leather black clips. I wanted to get these because I have some clips like this, but they're all colored. But I thought these ones would be perfect if I just want to like clip back, you know, part of my hair or whatever. And I just want it to kind of blend in with my hair since it's black. Speaking of black things, I had to get a black shirt. Okay, this is my only black thing I got though. This is the same as the purple one. So it has the pocket just in black, same exact thing. I find myself wearing these kind of shirts most often on a regular basis. I'm a big short sleeve kind of gal. I'm not into tank tops. So whenever I find like comfy short sleeves, stock up. Okay, I saw this hair brand called Anomaly that I have never heard of before. Not gonna lie, the packaging majorly drew me in, but I also have been looking for a clarifying shampoo. It's not great to use if you have color treated hair because 
you don't want to like strip the color but i feel like i do have a lot of just like product build up right now that i just want to kind of get out so i figured i would try this one it says that the bottle is made from 100 percent plastic trash so like recycled trash and then the scent is eucalyptus and charcoal which i'm also really into and i just i loved the packaging too hm, there's no sealant on that smells really good Ooh, yeah that smells really nice so I'll let you guys know how this is in my next speed reviews video, do a little update, but they had other ones if you're not into like clarifying shampoos and conditioners. So I found this in the Target dollar spot that's not a dollar anymore. This was five bucks, but I thought that was pretty good for this cute little storage thing. Normally storage containers can be kind of pricey and especially with like the wood top, loved the colors of this. You could use this for a bunch of different stuff, makeup, beauty products, bathroom storage, somewhere in your kitchen. I'm probably gonna have this I think on the coffee table like down below because I need somewhere to organize. We have a bunch of cards and like random game kind of card game. What am I trying to say? They're all just kind of out right now. So I think I'm going to put them in here and I think this will look cute under the coffee table. I had to pick up my Holy Grail Old Spice Wilderness scent. They changed the caps on us. So if you're buying this online or something, the red cap I guess is now the white on the inside. And the other one, the gel has a clear cap, which before the white had a white cap. Anyways, favorite deodorant smells like DKNY apple perfume and it's incredible. Random, but I picked up this pasta and pasta sauce from the Good and Gather brand. I've so far liked a lot of their stuff. I've tried a lot of their food, just like curbside pickup I normally do it, but this is their Alfredo truffle pasta sauce. It says made with real cream, Italian summer black truffles and extra virgin olive oil. That just like made my mouth water. And then this pasta looked really promising. I was listening to, I think it was a Planet Money podcast on someone who created their own pasta shape and like the whole process. And now I just look at pasta differently. I have an appreciation for it, but this guy looks big. Strozo Pretti is my all time favorite pasta, but I also love the packaging on these with like the black label. I think it looks so cool. So I picked up two different bikinis. I don't think I'm gonna keep both of these because they're pretty similar-ish in color. I'm leaning towards this mint one because again, with like self tanner on in the summer or not just as is, it's not even picking up as neon as it is in real life, but it's like a neon mint green. It's super pretty and it has these white straps. And then the bottoms have little tie sides on them. And the bottoms don't look too skimpy. I don't like the, you know, like ones that are halfway up your butt. These ones look like they have a little bit of coverage. So I don't know if I'm keeping that one or this one. This one's more of like a lime kind of color. It has some interesting detail on the bottom there where it kind of like cinches down and then the bikini bottoms. These ones don't have adjustable straps though, so we'll see if these fit. I haven't tried the Target Up and Up brand of Epsom salt yet. I've tried pretty much every other brand. So I wanted to pick up this instead of my Dr. Teal's this time, but this is the coconut oil scent. It was actually around the same price. I think this one was $3.99 and I think Dr. Teal's at Target's $4.99. Then I got this frame, which was only four bucks, which is a really good price for a frame, but I have a photo that I'm framing for Rach's birthday, which will have already happened by the time you guys see this video. Actually, it's right here, I'll show you. So there's the photo that I'm gonna frame in here as one of her little tchotchke birthday presents. This is the L'Oreal foundation, powder foundation, in the shade 130 True Beige. I don't know if this is gonna be my color. It might be a little bit dark. I got some Good & Gather brand coffee. This one's the Toasted Hazelnut. I wanted to pick up another flavor because I did really like their coconut flavor. Also love the packaging. Sucker for packaging. But their coffee was good. The last one I tried was good. Okay, so I picked up a bra from the Auden brand and I am I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this because I've been waiting for a moment to tell you about my favorite bra. I've been wearing this for the past couple months and I'm like, when can I talk about this Target bra? Auden brand from Target makes the comfiest, softest bras. They're not like, you know, padded or super supported or anything. I think they have a couple ones that maybe are, but they're kind of just like the bralette kind of bras, like no padding at all. But this one is super soft. I have three different ones of these, one of these and then two black ones. And I just have to tell you about this bra because if you are someone who likes the bralette, I went on a major like bralette search where I ordered a bunch from Free People, Nordstrom. I did a bunch of research and ordered like the top rated ones. And this Target one, which I believe this is like $16.99 around there, 
was the comfiest. I returned all the other ones and just kept the Target ones. So highly recommend this bra and the Autumn brand. So I wanted to pick up another one of their bras that was just in like a cute springy color. This one is padded. This looks a little small. Maybe I should have gone a size up, but it seems stretchy, but this one is also very soft and I just thought this would be really cute for spring. I got some English muffins. These are like the healthier version. It says 100 calories, eight grams of fiber, whole grain. I think I need to stop having bagels every morning. <laughs> it's probably not the best breakfast choice. So I'm gonna go with English muffins and see what I think about it. I think I'm gonna spice it up with some like jalapeno cream cheese though. These friggin' neon coral sweatpants. These are actually from the girls section. I always scope out the girls section because I can fit into their large or extra large and sometimes they have some really cute stuff. These were only $15, I got a size extra large. And I liked these because they're actually terry cloth on the inside. So for the spring, they won't be too hot with like fleece and the outside material is very soft. I feel like this is like even too neon for the camera to pick up, but in real life, it's like a neon coral. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be returning these. I don't think I like the fit of these at all, even just for like relaxing around. They just like, <laughs> they're doing something funky right here. And then I kind of feel like I'm wearing ski pants. Like they're just a little bit of an odd fit. And the length is also a bit long, which is a bummer because I love the color so much. And I have them like pulled up super high. Yeah, ooh, this is <laughs> not flattering. These are going back. I picked up this Sonia Kashuk primer brush. So it's technically a primer brush. I'm not going to use it for primer, but they had the little sample thing out and it's basically like a very tiny, super soft kabuki brush. So I thought it would be nice for either blending out my like cream contour, but I'm pretty sure this was only $5 and it's super dense. That's also what I liked about the sample is that it feels nice and dense. So I think I'm going to like this one. We'll see. Ooh, it feels so soft. I've discovered the best sparkling waters out of any brand, any flavor these top them. They have the perfect amount of bubbles. The flavors are so good. It's the Good and Gather brand. I love this coconut one. It's like heavy. This one's coconut pineapple. So much better than coconut LaCroix. If you didn't like the coconut LaCroix, which now like that one tastes like straight up sunscreen compared to this, this one is delicious. I feel like this would also be good in like drinks. And then my other favorite flavor is the tropical cherry. This one's super good, but honestly any of their flavors are good besides the cucumber mint disgusting and my boyfriend and I are like switching off like trading who has to drink the next one because we're just trying to go through them so yeah don't get the cucumber mint Ooh. but that is everything I got from Target two bags are now empty I feel like that was a major win I'm excited but I'll leave as much as I can find online links down below in the description box if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up I am just right in the high of the Target experience I went this morning and I'm I'm still feeling great but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.